Hi, I'm Max, and today I'm gonna show you how to build a sci-fi futuristic train. Now before we start it, be sure to like and subscribe, and check out my Patreon page for the schematic download. And by the way, a huge thank you to Mufa Dufa for providing me with a Create Oholics mod pack for this build. If you want the very best Create experience, with so much more addition for your creativity, Create Oholics is the perfect mod pack for you. The link will be in the description. Right, let's start with creating a new train. You can build this train on the normal track of course, but I'm gonna go with the monorail because futuristic. Place the iron back for 11 blocks and the back bogey. Place a quartz there at the side of the bogey, then a polished steel plate. A bit of detail with the observer. And we have a pilot at the front, so it would be a bit different. And there's our pilot. We'll be dividing up the room and the vestibule with an iron. A polished deep slate on the next layer and another iron on the top. Now we'll make the front shape of the locomotive. A big headlight on the very front. And we'll use the vertical stairs from the frame blocks mod to help with the shape. And the new block variant from the shipped mod. Here will be the platform for the cap. A connected tinted glass for the windshield. We will come back later, but now let's put off the roof. The very top will be a polished standard side. Bend the shape down on the front. And let's place out a few panels in front of the windshield. The roof on the side, I'll use a polished deep slate slab. And now we can put up the wall. We'll cover all of the side with the copycat panels. Leave a cut out here for the door. Now let's give it a bit of texture. A bit of machinery and a ventilation texture. Now we can follow the block pallet from the front. And then do the same on the other side. We use a glowing sign as a running light strip around the train. We'll type in a long equal symbol on the double line, and die its sign. Now a little bit more detail on the roof.
We'll make a step here so it's easier to get on board. And place down a door. And for the gangway. I will use an iron sheet metal on the side. Sharp and girders. Right, that is all on the outside. There's an a funnel and a lamp above the vestibule. Now in this room, I will make it a conductor's cabin. So on this side here will be a storage locker. A table and bed on its side. Let's make the sign look like a computer display. And in this room will be a reactor room. Or the engine room. Whichever you prefer. And in some of that glowing sci-fi bits. Same on the side. And now for the cab. Place down the main consoles and the seat. Let's wrap the console to the side here. Maybe you can make the windshield a bit wider. Extra storage and a control panels in the back. Let's type in random info on the sign. And that is all for the locomotive. Now let's move on to the carriage. And the carriage is going to be relatively the same length as the locomotive. with a similar design on the side here. Place down the layout for the vestibules.
and andesite on the top. We we'll have most of it be a full block, and while the rest will be a curved shape. And a polished steep slate on the side. We use a black tinted stained glass for the windows. We would do the same on the other side. And we can decorate it with the same details as the locomotive. Alright, now let's copy the glowing signs across. There we go. Now the interior here. This would be a small locker area. Lighting up the entrance. And now for the passenger area. We'll add a shape above the seat with an andesite. And assign as a computer display. In the middle part here will be a bit different. Maybe we could add another sign here. Let's make this be a sofa. And right here will be a sleeping pods. Now let's type stuff onto the signs. Just to give you an example. Now I'm gonna copy another carriage, but I'll have it be empty on the inside. And I'll make this car an observatory. So here I will make a glass dome on the roof. I think we can leave the middle part. Let's put up the dividers. We're just going to cover these with an iron panels. And place down the seats.
Alright, and that is all for the observatory. Now I do wonder if I can use Deep Slate on the previous car. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And now to finish the train, we can simply cop and flip the first two car onto the back. A bit of minor details, let's have a mechanical press between each gangway. Be sure to do that on all the gangways. And once you're done, let's glue the whole train. Now I'm gonna start over from the other side, then it should meet in the middle. And now for the assembly. And we're all done. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the build. And before we go, be sure to check out my Patreon page and also Create All Holics. And thanks again to my patrons for all your support. Now have a nice day to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.